Hello everyone, Tony Munoz here, bringing you another insightful Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today's session is especially exciting for those of you looking to spice up your racing games or any projects that could benefit from dynamic 2D animations. We're focusing on how to use the Panner node to animate a 2D image of arrows akin to those scenes guiding uh, players in car racing video games. But we are not stopping there. I will also show you how to control the animation speed through a material instance and double the visual impact by duplicating the arrows using the UV Texture Coordinates node. In this comprehensive tutorial, you will master Material Setup will kick things off by preparing a new material in Unreal Engine 5's Materials Editor, setting the stage for our animated texture adventure. Deep dive into the Panner node, understand the ins and outs of the Panner node, what it is why it is a game changer for animating your textures and how it can elevate your game's aesthetics with a minimal effort. Animating your arrows, I'll guide you step by step as we apply the Panner node to our arrow texture, configuring it to create the perfect motion effect along the road or path. Speed control via material instance. Learn how to create a parameter within your material instance to dynamically control the speed of your animated arrows, offering you flexibility and control directly from the Unreal Engine editor. Doubling down with UV texture coordinates. Discover how to effectively duplicate the number of arrows shown in your texture through the clever use of UV texture coordinates node, enhancing the density and impact of your animation with additional assets. Live preview and fine tuning. See your animated arrows come to life in real time. We'll preview the animation, making live adjustments to ensure everything looks just right. If you're excited to learn these techniques and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more on Real 5 tutorials. And remember to subscribe to Woolen.com and get ready to receive discount coupons for my old courses and the new one about modeling with Unreal Engine. No Maya or Blender needed. This is your chance to dive deeper into the world of game development with exclusive access to to my inside tips and tricks that have powered successful projects. Whether you are a beginner or looking to level up your skills, Woolen.com is your gateway to mastering the art of game design and development with Unreal Engine. Now, let's get started. What we're going to replicate here is something like these directional arrows that you can see in this image. We apply it, we use it a lot for games for in the, where you're running in a car or you're speeding in a car you need a uh, quick information to make a turn or to take a specific direction. But this can also be used for the floor or any section, even if you are working in a game where you have a jet and you want to give some directions to the player, this is the best way to do it. So the first thing is that I downloaded something that could be an arrow. I can't offer you the same one that I did because I don't have the rights over it. But I recommend you to go something like an arrow that will be white over black, something like this one. And the ones that I am using at this moment is this here, is this here, and this is the one that I will use in our demo. Let me close this. In Unreal, I create a third-person game, a base third-person game. You don't have to do nothing else more than that. And now in the content, as I usually do, I like to create a game folder. And inside the game folder, I am going to create a material. But before that, of course, the corresponding folder for a material. So double clicks over the material. Now, I'm going to right click and select materials. And inside materials, I will pick material. In this case, I'm going to call this material and the tool that I'm going to use, which is called Planner, just to give it a name. Now let's open the material. As in any material that you're going to use, you will have this base node. Now I want to add the material of the original asset, original image that I want to put into this. So having Unreal already selected, I can drag and drop the material that I the, the arrows, sorry, that I downloaded on uh, the web. So in my case, I'm going to drag and drop here in the same materials. I have a texture here, 
perfect and it is already imported. Now I want to add this texture into the material of the planner. As the planner is already open here, what I can do is click the texture, move it over the planner, and then let it go here, release here. So here I have the arrows as I imported from my downloads folder. Now I'm going to click and select the RGB and drag to the base color. So I'm telling that I want to represent this texture to this particular material. Let's change this material to see it in a plane. Much better. This is exactly what I'm looking for. And the other thing I want to do is I don't want the black space to be presented. Make this section transparent, I have to select into the blend mode the option of translucent. And now that I have the option of translucent selected, I have here in the material the opacity. And the opacity will be linked to the RGB, in this case here, to remove the elements that are totally black. Here we have the first step. In fact, if I save and now, let's say that I'm going to take a plane. From here, I select a plane. Let me move it up. And now let's apply to this plane this specific material. So here's the section of the material. Here's the plane that we already selected. Find it with F. Let me find it here. And now I'm going to drop this material on the section of materials. So as you can see, here we have it. That's a very good first step. Now let's go back to our planner material. Here I'm going to make some changes. The first thing is the element that I'm going to use, which by the way is not planner. I, I mistakenly take it like planner. It's planner material. So the first thing is I'm going to add this planner node. So let's look for planner. Here it is. And if you want to see the details about this planner, you can control and alt and see the details. And you can see that the planner expression outputs UV texture coordinates that can be used to create panning or moving textures. Exactly what we are looking for. Now, I am going to link this one to the UVs corresponding to this texture. And now, as you can see, the speed in the planner is currently 0, 0. I want to add a bit of speed here. Let's say one. And now you can see that the planner starts to move. If we apply here and save and go to the scene, you can see this element that is starting to move. Really great. But now I don't want this speed. I really want to move in the other direction. So I just select minus one. And now we have the planner in the direction where we want it. This is the first step. The most simple. Now, let's say that I want to create some parameters based on this. I can transform this into parameters, but I cannot transform the planner into parameters. So what should I do? Let's say that I want to control the time, the speed of this. Well, you might think that with clicking one or keeping the one key pressed and clicking and creating a variable and saying, let's say this variable is two, I can add it and put it here directly to the time to increase the speed of this one. But this time is related to the time that is progressing in Unreal. If you set the time to two, it's basically you're saying that the time is always constant and the value is two, which doesn't work for you. You need to progress as the time of the clock of Unreal is progressing. The way of doing that is creating another node. This is called time. Let me add time. And now I can click, I can select time and put in here directly. And as you can see, nothing has changed. It's exactly the same thing if I put it with this time or if I decided to remove it. It's exactly the same thing. Now, let's say that you want to control the time. You want to control the speed of this. Well, in that case, we're going to use the multiply. Multiply which is another node. And here we combine the time with the parameters that you want to use. And here I connect this to the time. Now, as you can see, the arrows are moving faster. I'm moving at double of speed. You can say four, and then they're going to move really fast. In fact, you can see it here, and this is the result. 
Now, let's say I'm going to move it back to 2, which is a, I think it's a fair good speed. In fact, I'm going to boom this one to 0.05, point, sorry, 0.5, so you can have a more clear idea. And now let's say that I want to transform this to a parameter that instances of these materials can, uh, can use. So I right click and select convert to parameter. And then I can say, uh, let's call this a arrow speed. And now you have a parameter that you can change with other instances of this material. Now let's add one last thing, what last change to this. Let's say that I want to play as well with the UVs of this texture that we are using here. And I want instead of having just one line of arrows, I want to have two lines of arrows. Well, this is pretty simple. Now we're going to select, uh, I'm going to right click and look for the texture core coordinate. Here we have it. The, ex the texture coordinate is the one that I will connect to coordinate in, para in Panner. As you can see at this moment, there is no change. But if I duplicate the values of the U and V tiling, let's say 2 and 2, now we have the double of uh, tilings for this particular texture. And now I can apply, save, and here you have the uh, the panel, uh, let me reduce the speed here. This is too fast at this moment. And you have the panels as we wanted to have. In fact, I can play now with, let's say that I want to create a material, but I want to create an instance from this one. So I will select the material and create a material instance. So let me call this one material instance and call it planner, which is correct. This is planner, it's not planner. I'm sorry about that. So here we have the material instance and let me put in like a plane, excellent. And as you can see, we have the parameter that we created, which is arrow speed. Now let's say that instead of arrow speed of two, I want to do it, I want to make it four. So I'm gonna save my material instance and now I'm going to the third uh, person map and let's add this material instance to this plane. Now you have it. Now, as this is a plane, this is something that you can also use in any position. So let's say I'm going to create another one. Let me use Alt and click and drag to move it to another position and you can place it, let's say here. And now let's rotate it like 90 degrees, excellent. And then you can see this, you can have this beautiful, uh, I think I didn't um, 90 degrees, okay. I think that now, yeah, yeah, now it's, it's good. And let's play with our in, in our game. So let's see, here is our character and here you, you see the corresponding uh, planes indicating to where they must go. Thanks for watching this video. Remember to give, like, subscribe, and a comment. And don't forget to join our amazing subscribers community on Wulun.com, which is receiving free content and coupons that they are redeeming to learn more about video games creation. What are you waiting for? I'll see you soon.